Okay, in this video we're going to be checking out the Racer Star Sprog X 2207-2400 kV motor. I've uh, had this motor for a little while and uh, just got around to finally making a build and installing this. And I put this on a uh, old frame here, QAV210 um, Fox here, F405 board. I've got the uh, AKK Infinite uh, DVR VTX in there and some of these Beale Heli 32 ESCs that came from a drone drop. So it's kind of random parts put together on this frame and uh, wanted to fly this sort of compare it to the 2205 motor that I reviewed a couple weeks back. And um, yeah, I gotta say that I wasn't as impressed with this motor as I was with the 2205 motor. Obviously it's a bigger motor, heavier, a little bit bigger KV, um, but I didn't feel like it had that, like a ton more power than the 2205 motor. So uh, I haven't really tested too many 2207 motors. I'm sort of kind of comparing this to say like a HGLRC 2306 or Emacs uh, Respec 2 2306 motor. I think those come in around 2400 or 2450 kV. So it's a little, that's a little bit bigger, uh, wider stator, but a little shorter stator than the 2207. So I was comparing sort of the power of this one to those motors, I felt like the 2306 motors were better than this one. But I'm going to also try out the uh, DYS uh, version of the 2207 as well. So this blue motor here is the DYS uh, version of the 2207, but this one comes in at 2600 kV, so this is going to probably have a little bit better performance than this 2400 kV motor. Uh, obviously, you know, we'll have the different KV, you can't really compare exactly, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take these motors off of the QAV210 here, and I'll put on these blue ones for the next video. So if you want to see another 2207 motor, this is going to be the next one in the motor review, uh, I guess, uh, series. I got a whole bunch of these motors I got to start flying. So, um, of course, this is probably the Racer Star is probably the cheapest one out of the bunch, uh, less than 10 bucks each. This comes in a set of five, I think it's like $47. So I believe it's less than 10 bucks each, and the, the D obviously the DYS motors are. The, they're about 10 bucks each, and this is a very popular budget motor right now out there. But uh, more on this motor later. I'm just going to give you guys a quick look at the Racer Star motor. You've got a three spoke design, and obviously the windings are very exposed on top. And then there's, this is not an open bottom design, more traditional design here. You've got a C clip on the bottom, and this is not a hollow shaft, it's a solid shaft. And you can see the windings from underneath and the magnets. And these are, I would say, the pretty average quality in terms of the air gap and the magnets are square magnets, not curved magnets. They're not, the motor's not that notchy, but they are smooth. The bearings are fairly smooth. The whole pattern here is 16 by 19, just like a lot of other 22XX series motors, 2200 series motors. And uh, you get about, I think it's about 5 inches. You get about five inches of motor wire, and the motor wire is 18 gauge wire, pretty thick wire. And the motor here, as you see with the prop nut on here, is about 30 and a half grams, so it's a little bit on the beefy side. Anyway, I'll go ahead and show you some flight demo footage from this one here. Uh, you'll see that it does fly, it's you know, pretty it's got pretty decent power. It's got more than a 2205 motor, but I'd say it's less than the 2306 motors that I've been flying before, especially the Emax motor, but of course, that's a $25 motor, this is a nine something dollar motor, so you know it's kind of hard to compare those, you know, uh, in terms of power. It's not like you're, you know, getting what three, two and a half times the power in the Emacs motor compared to this one, so uh, you know, take it for what it is. Uh, but yeah, definitely the Emacs motor is uh, better than this one. But you can just look at the flight footage and make your own judgment as to whether or not this motor has any value for your build.